Hello, and welcome to another Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry. Today's question comes from Larry. And Larry asks, how many shells should I start to stain with? Well, that's a great question, Larry, because you really need to start with what is your end goal? Are you doing a sorting experiment? If so, how many cells do you need to move forward to your downstream application? You need a million cells to go downstream, then you need to start doing the backwards calculation. How much, you know, what percentage of my population am I going to be sorting? And then keep going back and forth till you get to that back of the envelope number. And I always assume a 50% recovery in my sorting experiments. I usually get better, but a 50% is a good number, so you stay, make sure you have enough. It's better to have a few extra cells than not enough and, and cancel that experiment. Now, if you're doing an analysis run, it's again going to depend on what your question is, and you're going to have to turn your, turn your attention then to the statistics that you're trying to use to prove your hypothesis. So are you looking for a percent population, looking for an expression? You need to figure out what type of controls you need, figure out how many samples you need, and then what is the standard error? What, what spread of the data are you going to accept? If you're looking at rare events, you move into the realm of Poisson statistics where the number of positive events dictates the spread of the data. So I think you need to stay with as many cells as possible, especially if you know that you're going to lose cells along the way. I always encourage people to get some cells that are you know, not your precious rare sample, but a standard sample, and follow the assay, even if you just label with something as simple as a nuclear dye, or CD45 if you're looking at lymphocytes, and figure out how much you lose over the course of your processing, um, to, and to see if you can clean up that processing. You can lose as much as 30% of the cells just through centrifugation and, and, and loss because of that process. So if you start with a million cells and you lose 30% of those, you're already down 300,000 cells. And if you need half a million cells to collect, your instrument probably is about 50% efficient at, at um, the number of input cells going in. So 50% of 30, or of 700,000, you can start to see how the math adds up. You're only going to potentially have 350,000 cells. So go through the process, do the math, and you should try this at the beginning of the experiment rather than at the end. I hope that answered your question, Larry. Thanks for another uh, Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your flow cytometry best practices right here with your friends in flow. Me, Tim, and Team Excite.